course hair wafting video. If you want to receive our notification for our listings, please subscribe and click bell button. Thank you. We have about four ounces of coarse hair. And there is two bundles of coarse hairs on the table. As you know from one donor, one female, you usually don't get much of coarse hair, you know. Each ponytail could be about two ounces, three ounces. So in, in our case now, we have about two ponytails on the table. And those ponytails are from two different people, from two different females. So now we're trying to blend them, mix them, so it looks like it's been cut from one female. That's pretty easy. It's easy job to mix two different females' hairs. The main thing is the hairs, they must match each other. The matching requirements are their textures, their coarseness, the length, the color, the shape, the form, you know. So if you have very similar looking hairs from different females, you can blend them to each other, you can mix them to each other, and then it will look like it's been cut from one head. The reason you do that, because let's say you want a heavy weft, so you usually don't get enough hair from one person. So what you do is, you simply look for several ponytails which are matching each other by their texture, lens, color, shape and etc. And then you simply mix them, blend them to each other and you got their one ponytail. Every ponytail has tiny short hairs which needs to be removed before you start wefting them. And then try to align the top part of the hair. So you got the hairs as possible to the one line aligned. And then keep removing the short hairs. The more you comp the hair, the more short hairs will be coming out. And absolutely don't worry you're not losing much of your hair because all the removed short hairs, if you put it on the weight, trust me, the weight of those removed short hairs will be maximum five or maybe six or seven grams, not more. So you've got like four ounces of hair, which is like 115 grams of hair. And then once you remove that, short tiny ones from the top you've got like 110 grams left on your hand so never worry about removing those short hairs you absolutely don't want them on your weft so once you mix once you blend the hair sometimes you do want to do the same job once again just repeat the same process you spread the hair on the table and then you start rolling it from one side to end and then keep brushing, keep combing the ponytail. So if you feel your ponytail is well mixed, you can start wefting the ponytail. But if not, then do the same process again and again until you reach the nice ponytail mixed blended looking nice ponytail so our coarse hair in here we feel wasn't blended mixed well so what we're doing is simply spreading the hair on the table once again and then rolling it and then mixing the hair by the way sometimes 
you do want to remove the unaligned part of the hair which is easily can be you know cut from the top like you've seen on here now so sometimes what we do is we have two ponytails from two different females we divide each ponytail into several ponytails like each ponytail could be divided into two so in total you've got like four ponytails that way your job of mixing blending hair becomes much easier when you spread the hair on the table and then you put the second layer of your hair over it and then you put the third ponytail spreading on the hair on the table and then the fourth ponytail spreading on the same hair and then you roll them all together and then brush them and then you've got very nice beautiful looking mixed blended hair ponytail well if you don't feel it's been well mixed do the same process over and over and over some people do mixing over the hackle hackle is that thing which has long large needles it looks like a comb but it's like sticked on the wall or somewhere on the table so you brush your hair over it over it over it some people prefer doing mixing blending job on the hackle but I would say spreading the hair on the table and then mixing them this way that we are showing you right now is probably the easiest way well again you know it's your own choice sometimes you've got strings unmixed lying all over the hair ponytail if you brush the hair ponytail if you comb the hair you might get some of those hair strands coming out which is normal and again don't worry you're not losing much of your hair all those west of hair put it on the weight and you will see it's not much So once you feel your ponytail is ready, by the way don't forget to keep removing the short hairs as much as possible. The thing with short hairs, you know, the more you comb the hair ponytail, the more of your short hairs be there coming out. That's a funny thing. Yeah. We've been wefting for so long now. And every time I comb the hair, brush the hair, I still keep getting these short hairs. Which is, you know, it's okay. It's a pleasure, you know, mixing, blending the hair. So now our ponytail is ready and let's start wefting the hair. If you've never wefted the hair, if you've never sewn the hair, try with just a cloth with a fabric. Try to sew it a few times over and over, over and over. So you've got the idea how to, how to sew the fabric. It's pretty similar, you know, sewing hair and sewing fabric. So you, when you start sewing the hair, be careful with the hair, 
Well, I mean, as you see, we're trying to spread the hair in a thin layer. The thinner you sew your hair, the wider your weft is going to be sewn. So in here we're trying to make the weft, I would say, medium thin. Next video I'll try to shoot, I'll try to make very 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 thin weft hair so you will see that uh, we can weft the hair in different ways sometimes you can have it medium thin, sometimes you can have it very thin so this hair weft is going to be about, I would say, like 40 inches wide, maybe. And the length of this coarse hair is about like 20 inches. So what happens here is, we sew the hair one time, and then we repeat this step for about 10 plus times. Well. What I mean is 10 plus, 10 is okay, but if 15, then it's great. So start sewing the hair and then once you've done it and then just keep repeating it, repeating it over and over and over and over. Just see what happens here. It's pretty. First step is the main, you know, difficult step. I mean sewing first time the hair is difficult and slow time consuming but the rest is easy so you see second time she's sewing it's going easy and fast third time easy and fast fourth time easy and fast and so on and so on and so on and etc you try to do it like 10 plus times Make sure that your stitches are <clears throat> as small as possible and hair spread evenly and thread is very close to each other. You see the first thread and second thread they are very close to each other. So we shall be sewing the hair over and over, as I told you, like 10 plus times. And then the next step would be, all right, here we go. So now we've got the hair like 10 plus times sewn. Now let's remove this unaligned portion of the hair. Just just cut it like you see it in here. So we remove this portion. If you leave it, you know it could be itchy on the head. So it's better to remove them. That's pretty easy. So now 
let's start folding process as you know in order to keep hair out of shedding the best proven way is to fold the hair so as you see here you have 10 stitches right just from the very middle of those stitches of those threads fold the hair and then start sewing over and this time we usually do the sewing process for about five plus times This is the easiest way to weft the hair. We also have been wefting, maybe you've heard of it, three head machine equipment like uh, it does have three uh, sewing machines and then they go one by one one by one and all the job is done automatically the folding etc we do have that machine as well uh, that machine is good for sewing like kilograms and kilograms of hair so for home use or for salon use the best machine is one head sewing machine and within a day you could make at least 10 widths however it would depend on your experience as you see here just just keep sewing and sewing and sewing over the folded hair It becomes very nice, beautiful, tightly soon wefted hair. As I told you earlier, this weft is mainly for hair extension purposes being soon. Uh, sometimes you want to be sewing the hair in a very, very thin uh, layer which is for wig making purposes in the future videos I will show you how we do that so as you see in here we are folding the hair once more again so the top portion of the hair becomes even smaller you see that There you go. So you've got like, uh, I'd say maybe three millimeters. So this is gonna be last fold. You can't fold, you know, one more time. That be that be way too much. This is well enough. This is gonna hold the hair well enough. However. Uh, please watch this video till the end we shall be putting a layer of glue uh, maybe a couple times uh, because when you're brushing the hair the hair is secure since hair is tightly soon however if you pull out the hair by a strand believe me it will come out so in order to stop that, it's better to use a layer of glue. Well, the glue is, it's not a super glue. 
it's just a water resistant uh, glue which is sold online sometimes we use liquid gold glue which is very famous popular on the internet and that holds very well so as you see in here now we've got this stitches everywhere on the hair which is ugly looking we don't want those stitch threads you know lying on the hair you would simply need to remove them you see those stitches everywhere removing them is very easy You need a cutter like ours. This cutter is sold on the internet. It's pretty easy to find it. Just cut through a straight thread. Be very careful to the hair. Don't cut the hair. And once you cut it through from one end to other, you can easily slide them down and then remove them. Look, she is removing them now. That's pretty easy. So once you got it down, you know, pushed, then you can easily brush it out, comb it out. It's pretty easy. It's not gonna take much time. But we always remove this stitch, this threads, because it does really look ugly when you making clips in hair, when you making wig, or when you making other you know hair units from the wefted hair at the end your product should look good as you see in here we're adding glue colorless glue this glue doesn't have any color and it when it dries it doesn't become um, very white like super glue you don't use super glue and once it's dried you've got very secure, tightly sewn, strongly holding, absolutely no shedding weft hair. You can try to pull out a strand of hair. Believe me, it won't come out. You will break it somewhere near to the thread. Usually two layers of glue is well, but it's up to you. If you put much of glue on the top of the hair, then the, the hair will get uh, stronger, you know, harder. So you don't want that. Usually glue dries in about an hour or so. So as you see in here, the hair weft is done, it's ready. And now, okay, we're now trying to add another layer of glue from the other side, which is not always necessary, because when you put the glue from one side, it in any ways it will go through, it will come out from the other side. Well, again, as you see, we're trying to put here very, very thin layer of glue. And you don't want that glue to be spilled all over on the hair very carefully. So this is the last step. I guess this is the easiest step. Just brush out spray some pure water just the water and then brush out the weft it will just make sure that hanging strands of hairs be removed be combed out sometimes you got these hairs which are inside the ponytail unwefted on soon just you know hanging inside the ponytail so it's better to remove them now this is the best time and also 
uh, you detangling your left hair. And that's actually it. This is the coarse hair weft, natural slight wave, and it's great for hair extensions. And thank you so much for your interest in our wefting online course. This is a free course. Enjoy it. Bye now. Thank you. If you want to receive our notification for our listings, please subscribe and click bell button. Thank you.